Hello everyone, this is Faith from faithsbizacademy.com. Now I love creating printables and I love using Canva. However, there is one thing that really made it difficult to use Canva to create printables, the lack of table feature. Now it was very difficult to create tables using Canva because there wasn't actually a table element that we could use. So what I did was if I wanted to create tables in Canva itself, I would actually have to draw out the tables using individual lines or I would use simple shapes like the grid or the square to actually build the table by myself and that was very very manual and tedious but the good news is Canva has recently added a new table feature in the element section and I just want to show you exactly how this awesome feature is going to speed up the process of you creating printables tables or any other thing that you can think of using these awesome table elements are you ready let's get started now we are on Canva and I'm going to create a new design and I will be using the US letter size, just typing it in here and you can just click on it and then the US letter document will open up a new project on Canva. And now we want to search for the table elements. So right here on the left hand side menu under elements, just click on it. And when you scroll through, you would see that there's this new section called tables right above the frames. And if you want to just check out all the table elements that are found here, just click on see all. And you would see that there are actually three different types of tables. One is just a simple grid with the outlines. The other one has like a heading block and then the other is um, solid grids, okay? So let's just start with the simple grid one first. So here, just click on it. It will appear on your screen and then you can just drag the corners to resize it. Now, if you were to drag the little small white lines in the middle, you're only resizing the line itself and not the entire table. So what I did was I basically made the last row wider than the other. So how do I make them evenly spaced? Okay, so you can also just click on these blue lines. You see every time I mouse over a line, it becomes blue. You can just slide it around to adjust. Okay, and here when you click on this, you can actually go to this size columns equally. And once you click on it, it becomes even. And when you click on the one at top, size rows equally. And there we have it. So now we have all the rows and the columns equally spaced and it was just that simple. And of course you want to add new columns. You can do that as well. Just click on the table, click on the ellipsis menu. You can add a column before on the left or add a column after on the right hand side. So I'm going to add one and I'm also going to add a row. So I'm going to add a row before. So now I got four by five. This is a four by five table. Once again, I can resize it like this. I can drag, I can move things around and I'm not worried at all because if I want to space them evenly, all I need to do is to click on this little ellipsis menu and size rows equally, click here, size columns equally and there we have it now not only that we can also change the colors of the grid line so just click on it now do note that when you're clicking on the table you might end up selecting a grid within the table so let me just zoom in right here and you will see that this particular grid is selected right so when you do that and you go to this little icon right here you can change the colors of the border so if i click on it and I go to this color palette and I just select a random color, only this selected grid would change color. You see that? That's because when I clicked on the table, I actually clicked on just one particular grid of the table. Now, how do we avoid that? Let me just undo it. How do we avoid clicking an individual grid instead of the entire table? So what we can do is just click and drag. So you're actually highlighting the entire table and not one specific grid within the table. So now that the entire table is highlighted, let me go back to this border icon and then I can have this. This first icon refers to all the lines highlighted, right? And then I can change the colors, choose a color, and there we go. All the colors are now changed. Now, once again, click to drag, select the entire table, click back on this border icon. When I select this one, this means that I'm only changing the color or applying the thickness changes to the outside border. Let me show you what I mean. Lift is clicked change the color to a different one and here I can also adjust the border weight I can use the slider or I can change by just keying in the number and there we go so only the outside border has changed in color as well as thickness once again click and drag 
to highlight the entire table. Let's explore a little bit more. Now, this one, this refers to the grid lines inside the table. Let's change the color again to an orange. So you see all the lines inside are changed to orange, but the thick outside border still remains green. Okay, let's play around with it some more. Now, just the top line, let's change it to black. There we go, top line. Let's try that again, top line. I just want the top line to be changed. Let's change it to a yellow. There we go, just the top line, change to yellow. And here, just the horizontal lines. Let's see what happens. Let's change it to a different color. Horizontal lines inside the grid is changed. They are all changed to pink now. Here, just the bottom line. Let's change it to a different color. Let's have it orange. Here, just orange. Click and drag to make sure that I'm selecting the entire table and not just a specific grid. Here, on the left-hand side, just changing the color of the line on the left-hand side. There we go. Repeat the process. This one, just the vertical lines. Let's change it to a different color also. Right here, blue. Let's try that again. I just want the insides to be changed. So let's choose, uh, how about this green? There we go. Can you see? Now the vertical lines inside are green. Horizontal lines inside are orange. And let's have this one, only the rightmost line. Let's change it to good old black. And there we go. So there you see, it makes it so much easier. And it's pretty fun too, right? To actually draw a table to change the colors to resize it at columns at rows space them equally and it's just so quick and so easy now that there's this particular awesome table elements feature in canva okay so here let's just select the table again and here there's also table spacing you can adjust this so when i slide when i move the slider you see that there's spaces between the grids so you can actually vary the look of your table now that there are actually spaces between the grids now cell spacing when you try to move this it doesn't really change much um, but it actually adjusts the size of the individual cells or rather the table so what i recommend is is if you want to change the table size all you should do is to click um, around the circles and just click and drag to resize your table and once again not to worry if you accidentally you know misalign them all you need to do is click on the ellipsis size rows equally and size columns equally and there you go so it's really fast and easy right now okay now there are still some more awesome features. Let's add on a new page and let's choose this particular one with the top that is shaded. So similarly, I'm just using the circles, clicking and dragging to resize it. And then I'm going to change the color. I can just highlight this, change to a different color. And there we go. So these are actually solid blocks, allowing me to change the colors of blocks like this. And if it's a table, perhaps I want to add on some words, right? Like I could, perhaps this is, I just want to add like Monday. Let's just make the fonts bigger. Here, that's a little too big. Let's go to 30. There we go, Monday. And let's see things to do today and something else. Okay, so here, Click on the ellipse menu you can actually see there's this thing called size the row according to the content okay so you can actually vary the length the width of the column according to the text that you have inside the column itself so for this particular one as you can see this gibberish text that i've created is really long right so i can actually size it size the column according to the text so i can size row to content there we go so automatically the width of the row actually adjusts according to the text inside it either size rows to content or size columns to content and there we go so let me just show you one more time i clicked on size columns to content and you see right here this one because it's a long string of words this column is now wider in width than the other two right so we can, once again, size columns equally, and then they'll be equally spaced. So then it really makes it much neater because if you want to have some headings, you want to type in some words, and then you can resize it, just size row to content. And there we go. So this is really, really, really awesome. I'm, I'm just so excited to find this new feature in Canva. And basically, it's just going to make your design 
the whole idea of creating printables or any other digital products that you need tables for is going to make it so much easier. Now onto your turn, do try out and if you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comments below. And please remember to like the video and subscribe for more tutorials added every week. Thank you so much for your attention and I will see you around.